This is Kavya Raj Gopal. Hello, this is uh, Professor Preeja Shridhar. Okay, as a part of the teaching faculty, what is it that you like about ISBR? Uh, this is a great question, Madam. I would rather say that I am here from day one of its inception, and I have seen the entire process of ISBR. That is the maturity of this particular institution. Uh, we feel very proud because we. I personally feel that I am a kind of pillar of this institution because I am there from day one of this particular place and. Uh, if i say that this is uh, this is matured so much what i meant was we had seen initially the kind of uh, uh, enthusiasm among the first batch and uh, it was a raw kind of feeling it's a new institute how would we build it up but the strategy devised by the founding fathers the driving force and the management ensured that uh, the system is taken to the next level so it escalated to a zenith now Okay, since you've been a part of this institution from the very beginning what do you have to say about the student faculty student faculty relationship or your relationship and them it's a wonderful question uh, if you ask me because see this morning we had released something called as gems i have not seen uh, uh, in any of the institute at least of late that something being dedicated a particular souvenir being dedicated to a student community out here we have something called as gems which is definitely at the brain child of our managing director mr manish kotari this souvenir is a compilation or rather a collection of uh, students who have attributes of leaders leadership qualities in them and who have contributed above and beyond their academics like the extra add or the value add to the institute so what we do is we basically try to collect all their information compile it in very poetical words and create this particular gems and release on the convocation the grand uh, d day so when i when i uh, seen this kind of literature being promoted for the student community i have personally felt that this could happen only because the student and faculty share a very very healthy relationship Uh, the, this is one part of the story in in terms of academics you see that we mentor them we coach them apart from just simply delivering the academic stuff so we we feel very proud that when they enter into the you know uh, campuses they are raw people who have just graduated and then we start molding them to the next to an extent wherein they become industry ready or job for what we call it's a job fitment so we feel very proud to be a part of this particular strong field Uh, being a part of the inner circle of this institution what do you have to say about the service that isbr is given to the society yes excellent uh, it's a very good question so above and beyond the academic part what we have now nurtured we find that we have certain activities like csr corporate social responsibility wherein the institute have uh, ensured that they donate lot of books to parikrama trust uh, and we as a uh, faculty team have csr activities like say no to plastics we had a campaign of late you know which said say no to plastic which was meant purely for creating awareness among the society simultaneously we had a visit for the national association of blind and then we have uh, you know one of the agenda which rolls on wherein we do a course of philanthropy wherein we meet of uh, you know we, uh, we uh, meet of often age we go to often ages we meet often often uh, students and our students go there and entertain them with the program all these kind of activities are also promulgated this the tagline of this institution is real world real learning what do you have to say about that uh, that's a beautiful question real world and real learning yes it's a small world but then the world is uh, encapsulated in terms of learning and it is rightly put across learn relearn and unlearn so it it's real world and real learning that's how i believe thank you so much for your time ma'am